before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Here are the 9 most advanced AI robots, humanoid and industrial robots. Robots come in many shapes and sizes, but perhaps the most intriguing, endearing, and acceptable are the ones that resemble us, humans. Humanoid robots are used for research and space exploration, personal assistance and caregiving, education and entertainment, search and rescue, manufacturing and maintenance, public relations and healthcare. Before the coronavirus pandemic and the economic uncertainty, Statistics Market Research Consulting expected that the global humanoid robot market would reach $13 billion by 2026. While future market behavior is now unclear, but robot usage is on the rise. Chinese companies were rushing to deploy robots and automation and automation technology as doctors were grappling with COVID-19. For example, a field hospital staffed by robots, the Smart Field Hospital, opened in Wuhan, China in early March. There, humanoid robots donated by Cloud Mines Technology, a Silicon Valley company, measure temperatures, deliver food and medicine, and entertain medical staff and patients. As the virus spreads to the rest of the world, robots are being deployed in many countries. Some robots can help relieve tired nurses in the hospital, do basic cleaning and deliveries. Others can w help in the warehouse, while industrial robots can help maintain some production for manufacturing companies while their human co-workers are quarantined. Number 9. Educational Robot The SoftBank Robotics Pepper was designed to be a friendly emotions reading helper to work as a receptionist in retail and even as a nanny. Now Pepper comes in with an Educational Integrated Development Environment, or the IDE, called Tethys. This was created to teach students how to code. Using the software, students can program the humanoid to move, talk, gesticulate, and show different messages on its screen, all in real time. The company hopes this initiative will inspire a future generation of engineers and roboticists. Number 8. Robonaut Several countries have been working on humanoids for space exploration. In India, Vyumitra, a female humanoid robot, is set to launch on an uncrewed space flight in December 2020. The robot is scheduled to conduct microgravity experiments to help prepare the future crewed missions. Final experimental demonstration object research was a Russian remote-controlled humanoid that flew to the International Space Station in 2019 where it simulated repairs during a spacewalk and later returned back to Earth. Number 7. Robotic Actor Founded by director Will Jackson in 2004, Engineered Arts is a UK-based company that produces different entertainment humanoids through collaboration between artists, mechanical and computer engineers, and animators. For instance, their first humanoid, the well-known Robothespian, is a robotic actor that comes with a library of impressions, greetings, songs, and gestures. Number 6. Robotic Bartender Kime is a food and beverage serving robot developed by Mako Robotics in Spain. It has a human-like head and torso with two arms inside a kiosk. Tested at gas stations in Europe and in a Spanish brewery, Kime is known to be quite good at pouring beer and serving up to 300 glasses per hour. My kind of robot. The humanoid features 14 to 20 degrees of freedom, has smart sensors, and uses machine learning to improve on its skills. Number 5. Digital Humanoid Digital human beings look and act like humans, but are entirely virtual. One example is Samsung Technology and Advanced Research, or STAR, Labs Neons. Isn't that where the flash was made? Anyways, all pa AI powered beings with unique personalities and looks. These artificial humans are not designed to answer any questions like Alexa or Siri, but are supposed to show emotions, learn from experiences, and have real conversations. Each neon is computer generated and not necessarily based on real people, and each can be customized for a different role, like a virtual doctor or a yoga instructor. Number 4. Research Humanoid Mechanical engineers at the Iranian University of Tehran have been working on Serena robots since 2010. Their latest model, Serena 4, is an adult-sized human that is reportedly capable of face and object detection, speech recognition, and generation, and can walk with a speed of 0.7 kilometers per hour. It has 43 degrees of freedom, and its dexterous hands can grip many different shapes. Research engineers use Serena to research bipedal locomotion. AI and to attract students to careers in engineering. Number 3. Delivery Robot In January, it was announced that Ford became the first customer to incorporate Agility Robotics Digit into a factory setting. 
The headless humanoid has nimble limbs and is packed with sensors. It can navigate the stairs, various obstacles, and all kinds of terrains. It can balance on one foot, but usually it walks upright and is strong enough to pick up and stack boxes weighing up to 40 pounds. It can also fold itself for compact storage. Number 2. Robotic Ambassador Perhaps the most recognizable face of humanoids is that of Sophia, a social humanoid designed by Hong Kong-based Hanson Robotics. In 2020, the AI-powered four-year-old robot is going to continue her role as a robotic ambassador, helping to advance research into robotic and human-robot interactions. Taught by humans, Sophia can move, talk, show some emotions, draw, and even sing. Number one, robotic avatar. Initially introduced by Toyota in 2017, the THR3 is a humanoid robot that mimics the movements of its human operator like a real world avatar. Updated for the Tokyo Olympics, the THR3 has improved controls and can walk more naturally. Envisioned as a mobility service in the future, these humanoids will be able to perform surgeries while their operators, human doctors, will be controlling them from another part of the world. It can also help caregivers do, to do their work remotely or those in need of assistance to live in a more independent life. And this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen right now because I am sure with everything I am and everything I've got, you will love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.